CEO Tony Hayward getting a grilling from several House members during hearings on Capitol Hill. Hayward insisted that it's just too early to single out his company for the historic oil spill that is continuing now after 59 days because he says other firms were also involved. Steve Handelsman has the high-intensity testimony from Washington, D.C. Thanks. Good evening from Capitol Hill, where Hayward's demeanor clearly irritated Congress members from both sides of the aisle. He was stubborn and refused to admit any wrongdoing by his company. It was BP CEO Tony Hayward's first testimony since his well blew out. And I'm deeply sorry that it did. Lawmakers were angry and ready. It appears to me that BB, BP knowingly risked well failure to save a, a few million dollars. BP put profit before safety. Chairman Democrats Waxman's and Republicans accused BP of taking more chances than its competitors in the Gulf. This may not have happened if one of these other companies was operating that rig. We drill hundreds of wells a year all around the world. Yeah, I know. That's what's scaring me right now. So why did BP and its contractors use a non-standard casing, just a few centering devices, and pull out protective mud before the blowout? I'm not prepared to speculate on what may or may not have made a difference. Hayward had questions ahead of time. He was warned to have the answers ready. Did BP make a judge, a, a fundamental misjudgment? I was not involved in that decision, so it's impossible for me to answer that question. I was approached by several members of the committee who are extremely frustrated with your lack of candor. Lawmakers pushed harder. Did BP use standard safety practices? Hayward finally implied BP did. I have no reason to conclude that wasn't the case. If I found at any point that anyone in BP had put cost ahead of safety, I would take action. But BP CEO insisted no one knows yet who or what's at fault. And Hayward testified he sees no evidence, no evidence of any recklessness. And he said no one at BP has been fired. From Capitol Hill, I'm Steve Handelsman, WPTV News Channel 5. Coming up.